Most women in America don't really like the rough sex that is often promoted through the pornography channels that used to be associated with AOL and other companies who would allow such things on the internet. We also know that many companies that do own the ISPs and the presentation of domain space, which is like the ground of a family company, is not all wet. The truth is that we don't have the right to be monitored in America. We don't have the right to censor people is true. Those are the laws in America. But when you're thinking that you have the right to get away with abuse, you need to think again because those laws can come up to bite you. When you moved yourself into a home to steal things out of a bank account and out of boxes that don't belong to you, you lied to yourself and you got someone in a company to manipulate the locks or the truths of their work. And I question you, why did you do that? Why would you ever do that when you could have just walked up to me and walked up to someone else and said, hey, do you mind if I take a look at what you're asking me to pick up? The reality is there's a fine line between what is true and what is untrue. But the fine line is usually belonging to God, not you. You see, God creates every human being, but human beings choose their path and make their choices every single day. And there are people who abuse you to the point that they get the entire community to mob and stalk you. And that under international treaties and federal laws of American cities is illegal. And that will fall upon you if you're participating or leading such ideologies. It can be blowing up in your space. It can cause you disgrace. And openly, you don't really want to lose your life that you've decided to take at whatever pace. You see, there are some people who live in a fast society of America and other people who live in a country fried slower society of America and all the options are available to an American citizen or to people who come here because of their skill sets and their talents that are unique and are not found easily in America. It's often how we get foreign talent to support our companies and their flourishment or their possibilities of profitability. But every human being has the right to be pursuing happiness is a part of our constitution. And every human being has the right to participate in building the wealth for their families and retirement. But if your children are not being properly taught on how to behave appropriately and with propriety in our society, they will never become anything in life. But there is a point about the teenage years that children have to make a choice of do I want to live within the lines of the law or do I want to pretend I'm above it all? And those who are constantly pretending they're above other people's personhood rights, governing their bodies or property rights, governing their possessions and the presence they've received over a lifetime or actual paperwork rights, which is their legal documents that belong only to the individual from the birth certificate to the death certificate and everything in between with their work life, then we have an impossibility occurring. That if the aliens come down from above and the angels don't save us in time, then we are fucked because our own people will betray us. And that's not okay with most of us.